Hi peeps, so I have a, a new junk journal to share with you today. It is a, a recipe themed. Um, I altered a snap binder. Um, I actually altered this a long time ago, but I kind of wasn't feeling the way I altered it. Um, and so I kind of took it apart and redid it. And I used the paper by um, the paper studio, I think it's called Mix and Measure. I can't remember. But anyway, um, it's the one that I did showed in my haul video. Um, so anyway, yeah. So <laughs> I added this beautiful um, eyelid trim. And these are Tim Holtz um, uh, fork and spoon. And, and the knife is in the back and so I adhered it with some E6000 hopefully you could get the camera I didn't think I was going to be able to do this video because it's been raining all day but it got a little bright so hopefully you'll like, be able to see everything so I have um, just a um, what do you call these clips whatever these clips are called they're not Tim Holtz they're from the dollar store um, <laughs> But I have a chain here and it has three charms on it. It has this cute little measuring cup and it has this rose and it has this um, oven mitt. And so there's another clasp here. So they, um, you can undo them from either side. Um, I find it easier to do it from the spoon because the knife is a little more snug on there but it's still uh, you're still able to get it off so oh, did I show you the back there we go there's the back with the same eyelid trim um, and you can put you know whatever you want to put here I, I didn't want to put like recipes or anything on it because um, you may not want to use it for recipes you may just want to use it for special family dinners or you might want to use it as a food journal or I don't know <laughs> I would just journal in it but you know but anyway so I, I leave I'll leave that up to you to title if you wish so I use the um, vintage paper bag let me take all this out so then you can see that it's a bag here and I made two pockets I um <laughs> funny I had this scraps here so I use this scraps and this as well I did I did use some scraps from the other um, collections that I use in previous um, recipe journals um, just so I can use it up because I got so much scraps you guys um, so I made up with my sewing machine and so I'm kind of starting all over again because the little bit that I did learn I am relearning so I did some wonky stitching on this <laughs> this tag uh, I was trying to like trace the tag here I kind of did it on, on this side but I don't know what happened on that side but um, I think it's still cute if you hate it you could toss it I won't know so um, I could not decide whether or not to put a label on it or which label to use so I just stamped two of the labels that would fit my stamp and so you can decide which one you want to add up there and then I just had a blank label I couldn't fit in um, the stamp up there so that is for you to add as you wish and then oh my goodness I didn't even tell you guys um, I'll show it in a later video but I was able to get some of the Betty Crocker um, recipe cards. <laughs> I'm not even going into that whole thing. But anyway, so I have a few of them in here. And this one is for Coffee Desert Dessert Duo. I said desert. <laughs> and I just added some coffee dyed um, Project Life card on the back that I sprayed because I didn't have any that was coffee dyed. Um, and some recipe cards because this um, binder comes with uh, pocket pages so I actually had to take some stuff out of here because it was way too big and um, yeah I couldn't 
you know the rings aren't but so big um, and you'll see why it's so heavy so I have some um, 3 by 4 cards in here so you can add pictures and or whatever and these two are blank so you can add your own recipe cards there's three of those and then there's one of these and then these these binders come with dividers so I covered the binder I mean the divider <laughs> and everything is inked with vintage photo um, so there is the other side this is actually a smash pocket and I didn't want to glue it on there because um, I figure I would leave it for you to to glue on if you want it to so um, inside I had printed these vintage recipes that I got offline but I printed it upside down on the other side so yeah <laughs> and then I found these on Pinterest I thought they were interesting inventory um, sheet here and it has all the little I thought it would be cute to um, journal on. So, that's that. And so, these just go inside this little pocket. And I just had it clipped on with a little binder clip. And then, oh my God, you guys, I've had these little cupcake things in my stash forever and I never knew what to use for them. So I decided to just use some of my scraps, use my Martha Stewart punch and make a pocket so it kind of looks like a cupcake liner. And so, you know, you can just tuck little things in there. I just had these little things that I had in my stash tucked in there and I just had it clipped on there like that. And so there's a lot of... <laughs> flip outs in this so what I did was um, this is clipped so I made library pockets and I put um, a lot of the um, oh this one I didn't even cover in the back but anyway I put a lot of the little recipe cards in there and then I added some crocheted lace so that opens up and then I added my little stamp up there hopefully you can see and then I added some of these note pages. So there's like four or five of them on here. And I just had this clipped um, like this behind it like that. So it wouldn't flap, you know, it wouldn't flap as you turn the page. And so the back, I backed all the pages, papers with um, craft card stock to get them more stability. In case you wanted to add pictures, they are nice and sturdy now. Um, I did add a couple of the stickers that I had left over. And I feel like I'm going so slow. Oh, I had the, um, something paper clipped on here. I don't know what I did with it. But there I, there will be some of these vintage things I'm going to put in um, the goodie bag so you can add them if you want. Um, so more um, craft card stock. Um, I left it blank so you can decide whether or not you want to write or um, add pictures or whatever. So I left a blank for you to decorate. And this one I did a pocket here. So I just have a recipe card. I was really trying to use up a lot of my scraps I had left over. So I used a piece of my scrap there. And here as well. And then a little sticker up there. I will be including stickers as well, so then you can add it as you want. Here's another divider. So here, again, I was playing with my sewing machine. So I sewed up here this little piece of um, curtain that my bestie sent me. And I love how it hangs down at the bottom. So I figured, you know, you maybe want to put a little secret recipe or something behind there. And cover it up or something. I don't know. I just thought it was cute. <clears throat> And here's another flip. Like that. Another stamp here at the top. Oh, I'm off camera, sorry. Another stamp here, more crocheted lace. Another pocket. This is actually a paint chip. And it had cute little chocolates on there, so I thought that was cute. And I backed that one. Um, that is the only coffee dyeing that I did in here, is the backs of um, those cards. 
there is no more coffee dyeing in here. And so, yeah, I could flip. because I, Oh, and I used some reinforcements on all the pages for decorative purposes and also to keep it, you know, from tearing as, it, you know, you use it. And then I just had this little um, image right here that I added. So I didn't do a lot of decorating. I wanted to leave that to whoever gets this. I did another little cupcake thing here. This is sweet cakes. I think it has something on the back. Oh, a door. And so this little grandma's kitchen I had in my stash. So I just had that paper clipped up there and you can glue it on the page if you like. I have a little sticker up here that's covered with the paper clip. <laughs> it says Bacon with you fills my heart with joy in my own camera. Is it too dark, you guys? Let me turn the light off. Is that better? Hopefully that's better. I'm losing my light. So, um, there's everything's falling out now. So I have this paper clip, just some grocery list. And here's another pocket with another, oh, I didn't back this one either. Okay, <laughs> I sort of did all of them. But I guess, you know, you don't really need both of them. I mean, all of them. I'll um, send some, in case you wanna add, add them to the backs. How about that? Then it could be your choice. Get this on here. I want to even show you. It's a little purse paper clip. I've had that in my stash for a while. All right. I'm not going to fight with it. It's good enough. See, so here's the next divider. And some more paper. I love this paper so much. And, and so I have this little envelope. And inside is a bunch of vintage uh, food labels that you can add. Um, essence of coffee and imperial flour and all this kind of stuff. So I left that in there for you to add if you like. Here's the next page, and here's another pocket with another card. Oh my god, I didn't do this one either. <laughs> I really thought I did them all. Uh, and some more crocheted lace. That is so funny. I really thought I did all of them. And then I have some of these cards back here. But that was appropriate since I had the little mixer. You have the little mixer here on the page. I'll put that back later. I feel like I'm using up a lot of time here. So I have this paper clip up here on B's homemade pies. And then I put this sticker that says mix it up. And then these are papers that came in with the um, binder. And I wasn't sure whether or not to coffee dye them, so I didn't. If you would like me to coffee dye them, dye them, I will more, be more than happy to do that for you. Just send me a message through Etsy or email me. My email is always down in the description box below. And then here's the back. Uh, that one I remembered to do. Okay, I gotta get that in there. All right, so that one, chocolate drops. And then this, the cards came with some blank ones, so I added a couple of blank ones in case you want to journal on those. And then I have another um, wonky stitching tag back here. <laughs> and that's that. So I hope you guys like it. It will be listed in my Etsy sometime tonight. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. 
Um, I have a bunch of binders that I'm going to be doing. I've been so inspired by um, two ladies in particular. Um, the uh, Rebookery, I believe her name is Gina, and Gail, I can't remember her last name, but I'm going to put both their links down in the description box below. Um, I don't know why I'm hoarding binders, but I'm going to start using them now. And they have inspired me, so um, um, yeah. <laughs> I'll be doing a lot more. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And like I said, it'll be listed in my Etsy shop by sometime tonight. So let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.